Good morning. Welcome to Knox Church Sunday School Christmas Pageant. Um, this year we decided to do something a little bit different. And if any of you have ever been involved in plays or theater, um, you know what I'm talking about when I say dress rehearsals can be a little bit scary, okay? <laughs> So what we decided to do this year is give you a little glimpse into the dress rehearsal for a very mixed up Christmas pageant, okay? So sit back, enjoy, relax. The kids have put so much work into this. They've worked really hard. Um, so just enjoy it. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking over the Christmas pageant this year at the last minute. I know Robin was heartbroken that she couldn't come to the dress rehearsal. Well, hanging Christmas lights is dangerous business. I'm happy I could be here. There's just one little problem. What's that? Apparently, Robin had the only key to the costume closet. So we don't have any costumes for dress rehearsal. No costumes? We'll just have to work with what we have. What do we have? Mostly wings and halos. Uh... Oh. And we have a sheep. Uh -huh. Great. Yeah. Okay. All right. I uh, don't. Don't worry. We're collecting uh, bathrobes for things for tomorrow. In the meantime, I ask the kids who aren't angels to just wear their Halloween costumes. You did what? Oh. Come on in, kids. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah. Come on in, kids. All right, have a seat over there, yeah. Oh, oh boy. All right. Okay, I, well, I guess we'll... <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to run through the Christmas pageant. If we need to make any changes, we'll do it. <laughs> Places, everybody. Oh. God help us. Long ago, in the small desert town of Nazareth, in the country of Judea, lived a young woman named Mary. One day, an angel appeared to Mary. The angel said, I can't do this. That is not what Mary looks like. <laughs> well, in all fairness, the Bible doesn't tell us what Mary looked like. But, but the Bible does tell us who Mary is, right? I mean, God chose Mary to give birth to his only son, Jesus. 
something everyone thought was impassable, something that saved the world. So in a way, Mary is like a superhero. Cool. Yeah, cool. Okay, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> the angel said to Mary, Greetings, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. You shall have a child and shall name him Jesus. He will be great and reign over God's people forever, and this kingdom will have no end. How shall this be since I am not married? The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the, mo and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and your baby will be the Son of God. <laughs> now Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. All right, where's our Joseph? He has the blue. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, we need a Joseph. Joseph is someone who shows up, right? He shows up when Mary needs him, even though it's risky, right? And so are you dressed as someone that we can count on to help us no matter what? All right, great, you're in. Continue. Joseph didn't know what to think when Mary told him about the baby. But then the angel appeared to Joseph and said, Do not be afraid to marry Mary, because God has chosen her, and this baby will be the Messiah. Meanwhile, in a very different part of Judea, King Herod received an unexpected visit. I couldn't find a costume. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. I want a costume. Oh, okay, okay. Well, King Herod's like a villain in the Christmas Here, story. Take this. He doesn't like Jesus, and he wants to have all the power, and he does bad things, okay? All right. But he is still a child of God, so there's probably still some good in him somewhere. Yeah. All right. Anybody have a costume like that? Oh. That works. You're set. That works. Continue. Three magi came from the east following a star in the sky. probably kings, like scholars, priests, very wise. They studied the stars like scientists, and the Bible doesn't say that there were three kings, just that they had three gifts, okay? So who's dressed as somebody wise who could maybe study a lot and is perhaps from a royal family? Okay, okay, all right. Come on up, let's see, uh, Batman. Ay, 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 ay. All right, come on up, guys. Come on up. You are the wise men and women. All right. The Magi knew the prophecy. A child born in Judea would become the new king of the Jews. Herod also knew the prophecy and was very upset. Herod wanted to be the only king. Go and find the child and come back and tell me where he is. On a donkey. A dragon? Um, sure. <laughs> All right, come on, dragon. Oh, All right. boy. All right. <laughs> when they arrived, there were no rooms at the inn, so Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable. Where is it? 
Meanwhile, in nearby fields, shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks by night. Right. Suddenly, an angel. Where's the shepherd? Suddenly, an angel appeared to them, saying, Do not be afraid. I bring good news. Today in Bethlehem, the Savior has been born. He is the Messiah. Go and look for a baby in a manger. Then a whole host of angels appeared, singing and praising God. These shepherds hurried into town and found baby Jesus in a manger, just like the angel had said. Oh. Mm. 
the star settled over Bethlehem. And a little while later, the Magi arrived from the east. And everyone knew that this child was truly the Son of God. Wait, stop. You don't have to wear your Halloween costumes anymore. I have robes for everyone. But I don't want to wear a bathrobe. I want to be Mary, the superhero. But the robes are more authentic. I mean, is it? <clears throat> well, it's really hard to imagine the first Christmas. No one knew the story yet. Angels appeared to the shepherds, kings bowed to peasants. There was a baby in a feeding trunk. Everything must have seemed strange and mixed up. Maybe as strange as Doctor Strange, Batman, ay, ay, dragons, performing a Christmas pageant. Well, Jesus said the good news is meant for everyone. And God brought all those people together on that first Christmas for a reason. Forget the robes. The joy of Christmas is for all people, no matter who we are, no matter what we look like, even for all of you. Everybody, take your places. The shepherds went and spread the good news across the land. The Magi were warned in a dream not to trust Herod, so they went back a different way. As we know, the angel's prophecy came true. Jesus did come as a baby to save us all. He was fully human, fully God, and every Christmas we celebrate his birth when everything changed forever.
Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, please click the link in the upper right hand corner to view our message, the most important video you will ever watch. Join us for worship Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m., either in person at 2595 Elmwood Avenue in Kenmore, New York, or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash KNOXEPC. Find past sermons on our website knoxepc.com forward slash sermons. Stay up to date with Knox Church. To receive our monthly newsletter, email office at knoxepc.com. If you need prayer, send an email to pastor at knoxepc.com. You can request text alerts by texting 734-968-1847. Knox Sunday School happens every Sunday at 9 a.m. for kids grades kindergarten through 8th, and for adults of all ages. Email office at knoxepc.com for more information. Knox Evangelical Presbyterian Church. Our motto is truthful teaching, and graceful living. We are committed to growing in the knowledge of Jesus serving Him by serving others, and loving the body of Christ. To donate to Knox Church via PayPal, visit knoxepc.com and click on Giving at the top of the page, or scan the QR code above with your smartphone or tablet. Special thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the members of Knox Church. Without them, this outreach wouldn't be possible.